Hey, what's up everybody? So today uh, we're going to talk about guitars on No Guitars Allowed Friday. So, um, normally, on Friday I've been doing just, just a crazy vlog about random stuff. But, we have enough guitar related random stuff to make its own video today. So I wanted to share with you a few of the projects that we have going. Um, there's a lot. So, first of all, because we have guitar parts everywhere around here right now. So, first of all, we have the Patreon build. So the way this is working is uh, this coming Sunday night, which is what's Sunday night on the calendar? Uh, July 25th, we will be doing a Patreon workshop. Um, you can do it, you can go over to patreon.com and check it out. We've been putting together a kit guitar over the last few months, and we've been doing it together like every step of the way. So even the last one we painted it. Um, so anyway, let me show you that really quick. So this is the, the, the body's not totally finished as far as the finish goes because I need to put another coat of color on it and I need to clear it. But uh, before we do that, I want to test fit all of the parts and make sure everything's gonna work. Um, so we're gonna do that Sunday. So we have a bridge coming for it. We have all the controls coming for it. We're basically gonna build up the guitar and like do a pre build up and make sure everything fits because this is just a kit body that I bought off of Amazon. So I just, I test fitted some stuff, but the bridge is in a weird spot. We need to fix that. There's a couple of little problems with it because it's a kit body. So that's one of the things we're gonna do on Sunday night at the Patreon thing. If you haven't joined us for that, it's pretty fun. And if you can't make it live, we have like a replay one too, which is pretty cool. And then over here, uh, do you remember a few months ago, we did a video where we built, or we played a, the cheapest, it's the cheapest LED Strat on eBay. Well, this is it. I have been waiting forever for a custom pick guard for this, and I know it doesn't look custom, but the client who want have, have, is having me do this wanted white, black, white, and this is not a strat shape. Like, it's a little bit different. So I had to have it custom cut, which means that I had to wait like a couple of months because back orders, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I built up the loaded pick guard for it yesterday, and except for this knob, because this is how you turn on the LEDs in the body. So I'm replacing the pot, but I just haven't done it yet, but I haven't unwired it because I want to make sure I don't forget how. So anyway, so that's happening. We're waiting for, he wants to put a kill switch in it, which I think is going to be somewhere in this area right here in the pit guard. So that's coming in this afternoon. I have the neck for it. Um, it's all built up, new tuners, everything. So that's gonna be happening probably next week. So we're gonna put that in a video next week or a couple of videos. I'm really excited about this clear Strat deal. I've been wanting to do one of those for a while. And then of course, the guitar of the moment and all of the controversy apparently on my channel, which is weird, has been my new Gibson. So, this guitar is going to come apart this week as well. We are going to replace the pickup in it. I actually have, over here on the bench, a bobbin. One is for a customer and one is for my guitar. So, uh, the bobbins are wound. I just haven't assembled them yet. Base plates come in this afternoon. I ran out of those. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take, of course, to get the pickup out, we're going to have to take the back plate off. One of the things that people have been asking about is, um, does it have a circuit board in it? It's an original series, so I don't think so. 
um, if you have one of these, this is a two, 2021, so if you have a late model one, put it in the comments and let me know what you have inside. Um, I don't think it's going to be a circuit board though, but um, if it is, we'll take it out. Whatever, it doesn't matter, I don't care. Um, we're going to pull it apart and change it all out. I probably won't change the pots if I don't have to. I'd rather leave those. So anyway, so that's it. So that guitar. Um, and then we've had a couple of questions actually about recording stuff and how I record stuff. Let me grab, um, let me grab my amp really quick. I also forgot about one more guitar. So the Strat that I've been playing for the last few months, um, I sold it to a viewer. And this is it. This is the Mexican Strat. Now he wants a single, single hum pick guard in it. So we're gonna do a single, single hum setup and then I'm gonna send it to him. So that's that project of building that back up will be in the next couple of weeks as well. So we'll put that in a video. All right, let me show you this amp thing. Okay, so people have been asking me since I haven't don't have a Helix or a Kemper anymore uh, what I've been using to record and what I've been using to play because I've been playing a lot more actually. I bought this a few months ago on Zounds. I'll leave a link to it in the description. This is the Marshall Origin 20. This is a fantastic amplifier. It is EL84s I think and it is a single 10. If you were going to buy one of these, I would probably tell you, get the 50 instead. The cabinet is a little too small and the speaker is a little too small for the Marshall sound, in my opinion. It sounds a little boxy. It doesn't have reverb, so that also doesn't help. So I use that pedal board that we've been building up. Uh, I have a Electro Harmonics Caverns, maybe? Is that what it's called? And I've been using that, the reverb in that. So it, it's, it's, it's okay. That could be improved. But this is a really good amp. It sounds great. Um, you, like I said, it's it's fairly flat. You have to add some stuff to it, but it's it's good. It has a power cut, so it goes from like 0.5 watt to, ha to half power to full power or whatever. Um, which I don't use very often because if you flip it around in the back it has a DI out. So what I do usually to record is I have, take a guitar cable and I run a guitar cable from the DI out to my Zoom H5 and I run that into one of these inputs and I'm able to um, adjust the recording level and stuff and then I just play with headphones. And then that allows me to be able to run the amp at full power, and then I don't have to worry about like attenuation or anything. And since we live in a motorhome, in an RV park 99% of the time, it's uh, not loud, because that's a big thing. So my walls are only this thick and you know, neighbors are right there. So it's loud if I play loud. So this is a way, a way to do it. Is it optimal? No, but it's what I have right now, so it works pretty good. And a Marshall with my new SG is amazing. So it's it's been good. Um, but people have been asking me about what I've been doing for that lately, so you could try it. Uh, I need to get a new mic capsule. The little thing broke on here, but I don't I don't use this very often. Um, I have in the past used this as like a room mic and then use the DIA, DI so you can get a little bit more. But because we have to play at such low volumes, I just use the DI most of the time. So there you go. There's a little update on what we got going on around here. It's quarter to eight in the morning. Birds are noisy. Everybody's asleep, except for me. Just working and uh, getting stuff done. I'm gonna get this edited up and share it with you. Hopefully, you can join us for the Patreon thing on Sunday. If you can't, that's cool too. 
Um, and then, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff coming, man. Good videos coming up. So I want to share those kind of ahead of time with you because uh, if you have any questions or stuff you think I should include in them, um, let me know. The other thing that we have going, I guess I should tell you, the the not great guitar build off, like, well the guitar is going to be great, but it's not in the great guitar build off anymore. That guitar build is happening. I've had a couple of people ask about it in the comments lately. Um, so what's going on with that is if you watched our live stream with Texas Toast, you'll know all the details. So you can go back and watch that. But Matt is making the necks for me. So um, because he's been super busy and I've been super busy, it's kind of gotten slowed down a little bit, but it is happening. Um, I think both of the necks are made. I think they might be fretted. I think that actually might be pretty close. So once I get those from him, um, then we can start working on the carbon fiber stuff and this thing is going to come together so that is another project that's happening it's a little longer term uh, than I initially planned but it is happening I also think we're going to well we're we're moving next week so we'll be where we are for another week and then we'll be moving again and we're gonna go north so we're gonna go towards um, we might go back to Nashville for another week, which would be cool because I'd like to shoot some stuff with a couple of companies over there. I mentioned last night that we met the guys from, I was introduced to by somebody else, give them credit. Um, I was introduced to the guys at Runway Audio who make the best guitar cables in the world. So everybody's been asking me about that too. Like, do you make cables anymore? What cables should we get, blah, blah. So anyway. There's a link in the description of this video. It's not sponsored or anything, um, but if you use Dylan Talks Tone as a code in the their checkout, you get 10% off. So make sure you check that out. They're really good and they're more reasonably priced than some other high priced cables and they're better. I mean, they just are. Um, that is not opinion, like spec wise and everything. I'd like to shoot something with them when we go over to Nashville. It would be really, really cool. I'm going to talk to them about that this weekend. Um, so if we go back to Nashville, then there might be other opportunities for us to shoot some more stuff because NAM won't be happening and it'll be a little more chill and I'll be able to get some stuff done. So if you have ideas for that, let me know in the comments. And then we're going to start heading north. So we're going to go up through Kentucky. Um, I've got to be in Illinois, the uh, northern Illinois up by Chicago in September. So we'll for a funeral actually but we'll be going up that direction over the next few weeks six weeks or so so if uh maybe we can meet up with somebody some of you and maybe we could see a cool guitar related venue uh or thing or event let me know put it in the comments i'd be interested to check it out um i want to keep you updated a little bit more on some of that stuff because now that uh Ah, well, now that we can interact a little bit more with people, I would like to be able to do that and be able to um, kind of document some of this guitar-related stuff along the way that we see. So it'd be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do all the things that you do on YouTube. Please hit the like button. That really helps the videos. It really, really helps the videos. So please uh, hit the like button. That would be awesome. Uh, maybe even more so than the subscribe, actually, to tell you the truth. I. I mean, obviously I want you to, but if you can't for some reason, use your clicky finger, uh, you know, use it for a like. That'd be awesome. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon.